Eight points, ten points. What's the score, Jack? Mm -hmm. Dayton's up. I hear you. And that's what the, the story of this game is that's so interesting. It looks like it was all VCU all the time. That's not entirely the case. The stat sheet is a little misleading. Brutcher tried to launch one. And somehow they won on the road. Th that opened my eyes. Another three in the air that won't go. Rebound Mitchell at, to start the game. That's a fun matchup to watch on the inside. Field goal percentage has been a slow start here for Dayton. Crutcher. is scoring points, Brooke, this is a much different Flyers team. Right? And Dayton's wins, he's averaging 18 points a game. He's hitting about half his threes. So for him to get off of to a good start, that's one of the big keys for the Flyers. Okay, floater. You see that a lot well, from Crutcher that's been this year. Like, literally nothing surprises me. Well, can you believe we've made it to March? I cannot. No. I really can. It's great, you know, just to see basketball being played and you think about all the precautions. And Sherman, glad you could be here with us to watch this game just two days away from the start of the postseason tournament down in Richmond for the Atlantic 10 Conference. And, Brooke, what do you see out of the uh, second half as we get things going? Dayton with the basketball first. Well, definitely Crutcher has got to be a bigger force. He only had... And already the Hawks' 15 foul. You know my theory on that. If there's a big disparity, it, it you, won't last. It usually works itself back. Doesn't matter what direction. Well, KG staying with... Get a first-round bye in the tournament in just a couple of weeks. And we're underway. Elijah Weaver for the Flyers. Top of the key, setting things up. First shot on the night. Crutcher for three. Off the mark. Keep an eye on him because I don't see a flaw in his game on the offensive end of the court. Crutcher for the win. And just short, the South St. Louis game is underway and now available at cbssports.com slash cbssn. We will get you out to St. Louis as soon as this one is over. Right now, Chapman, and a half. Chapman is on Fats Russell and it is face guarding. Not your same footprint. Hold your follow through. He took off to the defensive end a little bit too quick. And this might be the James Bishop show right here as the clock goes down. Bishop pulls up, hits it. He's got this shot by Toby Bray. Just stepped up like he had no concerns, no, no amount of fear in that shot. And that's half the battle coming off the bench. You can't be afraid. You got to come in and just play like you belong. High off the glass. That's a neat touch in the end. But they're in the front court. 10 seconds, Molinar, got it. And timeout, Mississippi State. Eight. Now we're getting a rotation of some guys from the bench, just a couple. Boy, going back to that, you know, the official comment with Ted Valentine during this game. I mean, as players, you recognize that. You get excited when you see big time name official. The Rams have taken and made more free throws than anybody else in the conference. He'll probably sit out until the five-minute mark, I would say. Oh, what a three knockdown. Last foul was on Omsiel um, for Dayton, so both Omsiel um, and Chamanga have two personal fouls. Out of the time. He drains that one, 37-34. And that's huge for this Dayton team, having another guy that can put pressure on the defense. Weaver, the USC transfer, right? He is a slashing offensive player, averaging about five, nine points a game. For USC. Dayton, these players have accepted the challenge and done a much better job. Seven point lead, but there's Luke, Fundamel, and the two.